Welcome back to Booze in the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today is our Halloween. It's the Aaron Show. <laughs> what hurts? This. All right, let's get into the Halloween special. Now, I'm not going to do a lot of history. Everybody's beaten to death how it's Halloween. It's the Feast of Sam Hain. <laughs> the, uh, the borders between the worlds are thin. You might see a dead loved one. You might be swallowed up by a ghoul, a goblin, or maybe even a vampire. But you know what? We're going to start battling the evil of Halloween, and we're going to use the Black Magic Margarita. And I'm going to show Aaron how to make that. Alrighty. Throw some ice in there, please. All right, so the first thing we need is we need two ounces or 60 mils of a tequila silver. And this is Jose Cuervo's tequila especial. Oh, I didn't spill any of it. Oh, yeah, right, uh -huh, okay. Yeah, very good. Uh, just for that. Okay. All right, so we need one ounce of triple sec, which of course is an orange liqueur. Now, the next thing we need is an ounce of lime juice. Okay, so you get to have fun with one of these. Do you have those yet? Okay, here, cut your knife. Cut your knife? <laughs> cut your knife, no. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna get, on average, about an ounce of juice out of a line. Okay, so you're just gonna cut it in half, drop it in there. Which part? Doesn't really matter. This part? Yeah, squeeze it down like that. Just like put this? it in there. Yeah. Okay. Now squeeze, and squeeze hard. Come on, keep squeezing. Harder. Mm. You, you sure? You done yet? Right. Next, come on. Jump, jump. Our viewers don't have all day. It's Halloween and it's trick or treating time. Come on. I'm trying. The little hobgoblins are going to be hopping onto the field anytime soon now, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't spill anything. Come on. I put it in the wrong way. Well, it's not my fault. Squeeze it. Come on. Come on. All right, apparently now after that, we actually need to cut this yet again. <laughs> so, another line, please. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Know. Show me exactly how it's done. That's actually. Cutting things because I'm not very strong. Come on. So the, uh, the one thing about these, these lines are actually kind of small. This is that time of the year, you know. Well, thank you. All right, now, one of the things we need to do that we didn't do is you're going to shake this. Or, no, actually, I'll shake this. Try. Okay. Take this. You're going to hold this tight. you got to hold these together tight. And you got to shake the crap out of it for a good 10 seconds solid. Don't let go or else you're going to be wearing it. Until like this? No. Well, hold it and just figure it out. All right. Keep going. Harder. All right, perfect. All right. That took a lot of muscles. Yeah, it's good at the gym. How does that smell? That smells good. Yeah, it does. All right, but first, you need to get the plates. Which apparently didn't seem to make it down here. <laughs> we could just use the board. Yeah. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you need one of these. Okay. And we are going to rim the glass. Now the way you rim the glass, you're going to take the uh, lemon and you're just gonna the lime. I do this every time, and you're gonna just run it around the edge. Perfect. Okay. Cool. That may be a bit much. <laughs> And we're going to use some black, awesome looking icing bits. Okay, and we're going to show you something really interesting. Do this. And look at that. Well, I could have done that. Yeah, you could have, but I've chosen to do that. So, <laughs> I need to have some part of the video where I'm actually doing something. Okay, can you uh, throw some ice in there, please? 
Yeah, good enough. Okay, so you're gonna use, this is a hot chair, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna put this in place. You're gonna, of course, grab hold of the bottom three fingers and you're gonna hold on tight like this, okay? And then you go into the core. So here. It almost looks too nice, doesn't it? But we're gonna fix that problem. All right, so you're gonna need a little bit of food coloring dye now. So make sure that the coloring dye that you're using is edible, the same as anything that you're using to garnish your uh, drink. In this case, this is a black frosted sugar and uh, sparkly stuff, so it's pretty awesome. So here, you drop uh, five drops in. Draw, and we're gonna color this. Now you're gonna color this, you're gonna spin this to color it as deep and dark as you want. So you get as close to the beautiful blackness as you can. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna garnish this with one. Okay. And so I'm gonna do two a very two very thin line pieces. And using my uh, stirring utensil, I'm just gonna put them in nicely against the glass. Which of course you can't see them because it is so dark. How does that look? It looks good. Do you want to taste it? Looks like I might die from it, but yeah. Perfect. I'm doing everything <laughs> right then. Your death is assured. You will be safe from black magic. Try this. Good. Yeah? Okay. So what I can smell is I can smell the lemon citrus, right? Mm -hmm. Which is awesome. Get some of the sugar. I'm getting some of the sugar. I'm being told what to do. It's pretty good. Do you think it's a good drink? I think it's a good drink. I drink that. I this is your drink. first drink of the Halloween evening. The Black Magic Margarita. And you know what? Let's move to the next one. And I'm back, and we're gonna make the purple people eaters. Say that ten times fast. Purple people eater, purple people eater, purple people eater, purple people eater. I can't, <laughs> I can't even do it ten times. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this. Can you throw some ice in there, please, Aaron? So the first thing we're going to use is we need an ounce and a half of vodka. So I got managed to get my hands on some, uh, oh did you hear that? That's awesome. Heretic Spirits, number one, there's vodka. Awesome little craft distillery in Collingwood, Ontario. And they're open Friday evenings and Saturdays if you want to go in and pick up a bottle directly for them. Or you can get it at the LCBO, but that's just me plugging it because I like this stuff so much. And I like little craft stores. I'm a huge fan of buying local when you can. Okay, so now to the half of that, please. All right, perfect. So while you got that, I need one ounce of the blue curacao. Now the blue curacao is pretty tasty. I kind of like this. It works really good in a couple of different things. Look at that color. That's pretty awesome. Okay, now another thing I need, we need one ounce of the grenadine right there, and we're using a uh, Rose's grenadine, okay, and grenadine is pretty sweet. This is what I happen to have. I'd much prefer to use a, uh, an all-natural grenadine that I've made myself. Unfortunately, uh, I don't throw things out if I can help it. Okay, we need one ounce of the uh, Ocean Spray Cran Grape Juice. Thank you.
What are you doing? You don't want to do that if you're serving your friend. <laughs> uh, this is the opposite of hygiene, apparently. All right, so what we need is we need a half an ounce of lime juice. There you go. Put it back. Which one do I need? You can use this. Remember, this is a one ounce, so you just want to fill it up halfway, right? So realistically, should be. Yes, I don't. Fill it again. Oh, did you see that? That's pretty cool. It totally changed the color right there. Oh, you said an ounce and a half. No, half an ounce. All right. And now you need half an ounce of lemon. Okay. So grab one of the yellow things there. You have the knife. right so this is about a half an ounce and I keep I have I'm not haven't been rattling out the, uh, the measurements properly for the uh, for this so one ounce, an ounce and a half it for the vodka is 45 mils one ounce of the blue carousel this is hard would you like some help yeah. uh, one ounce or 30 mils of the blue carousel one ounce of the grandine of course is 30 mils all right so I need Half an ounce of the simple syrup. Half an ounce works out to actually 15 mils. Okay. Which is pretty cool. And again, our simple syrup is a one-to-one -one sugar syrup. Okay, and you can make that very easily at home. And give it a shake. How long? You're gonna shake this for about 10 to 15 seconds. Yeah, give it a smack. Hold it on there tight. making a strange noise for her. That's okay. Go. Shake. Keep going. Keep going. Don't worry. Harder. I'm losing the drink. You're fine. If it's not straining in the face, you're okay. Perfect. First, we have to rim this glass. Sounds really bad, we'll just move everything over. And you need the stuff that's right behind you over here. You wanna grab a plate before you put them? So this way, we're not gonna get everything all over the, uh, the cutting board yet again like we did this time. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, pinky, purple, uh, uh, shiny, sprinkly uh, sugar again. So you're gonna use this. Give that a really good rim, please. Perfect. That doesn't that look gorgeous? That does, doesn't it? I'm making Masterpiece. Masterpiece Theater 3000. I used to watch that show. That was pretty cool, those guys making fun of those movies. All right, so. Ice? Yeah, put a handful of ice. You don't want to fill the whole thing up, just a handful. I don't know, three or four pieces. Ah, uh, probably three pieces. My hand's smaller than yours, but we'll try. Three pieces, perfect. Here you go. Yes, it's making noise. The dry ice, <laughs> the dry ice is doing. Here you go, just a sec. While you're putting that away, we'll do the dry ice thing right here. And oh, gee, that's cold. Remember, children, when playing with dry ice, you should always have to use gloves or tongs because dry ice is well below freezing. Okay. So, how does that look? It looks good. Looks good. I want to try it first. Okay. The purple people here. Is it eating you? Um. That's good. That's a little bit of a sweeter drink. I like that. You're going to like that one better. I guarantee it. That's 
better? That's really good. Come on, you can't have it. All oh, might. The purple people eater. I hope it eats. Hey, it'll eat me from inside just like pineapple. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the next one. All okay, right. And I'm back again, and we're going to make sweet poison. You done now? Thanks. <laughs> so I'm going to make, uh, can you just give me some ice, please? Please, please, please. Only because you asked nicely. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use, the first thing we're going to do is one ounce or 30 mils of a light rum. I'm using a Plantation Barbados rum here. Hold on a second. That was a defective. That's better. Now it sounds good, right? So we're going to use one ounce of light rum. All right, now we're going to use two ounces of uh, coconut rum. And I have right here the Malibu rum. Two ounces is equal to about 60 mil. Not about, it actually equal to 60 milliliters. And of course, we need one ounce or 30 mil of blue carousel. But you're going to do that because it's going to look pretty. Because I make everything look pretty. My daughter, of course you do. Ah, you spilled something. You just have a forever blue stain for me. <laughs> nice. Better wash that so it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna shake this. Okay. I'm gonna give this a nice solid shake. Again, 10 to 15 seconds, right? Dancing, how you dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Those are fighting words. All right. Could you put a handful of ice in there, please? Now. Now, it doesn't look like there's a lot in here, right? But that's okay. What we're going to do is now we're going to top this up with pineapple juice. Yes, the only fruit that eats you while you eat it. But I don't have anything fresh here, so we're going to use some of that. Do you want to top that up to yeah, just right there? And just pour it in? Yeah, just pour it and give it a shake first. People would yell at you if you're in a cocktail bar. Come on, a little bit more. Oh, Jesus. Just a little bit. Okay, perfect. That's better. Look at that gorgeous color. Okay. Can you pass me a lemon? Now we're going to garnish this. Lemon. Oh, yes. You're just as bad as me when it comes <laughs> to lemon and li lemons and limes, right? So we're going to give ourselves a be beautiful little half a lemon wedge or lemon slice. Give us a small cut right there. Yeah, get your wedges right. No, no. Seeds are optional if you like seeds. That is the saddest lemon slice I have ever seen. <laughs> Probably not the saddest I have ever put on this show. Yeah, it's pretty sad. I think it's like a firework. It just needs to break before it glows. Okay. You say so. I'm glad you love me. Give it a try. It's very blue. It is. You're still alive? It's not poisonous? It's very coconutty. But is it any good? It's good. You sure? Yeah. You're being honest. I'm being honest. All right, let's try this. Barbarian Dave, which I haven't used that term for a while. Not even. 
beyond. That's pretty good. You're right, there is a lot of coconut. I like coconut, but it's just kind of a different flavor. It's not bad at all. Bam! Oh, yes. look at that, perfect. <laughs> perfect slice. You ruined it, go for it. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. right. So we have another good cocktail. We fought the purple people eater with our sweet poison, and now we're on to the next one. Lou. Hi, I'm back again, and we're going to make the good and evil drink. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, good. Could you put some ice in there, please? So we're going to start this off with one ounce of 30 ml of our Heritage Spirits Vodka. Again, this is the... That's better. This is our, uh, uh, our locally distilled spirit. Now the next one we need is one ounce of 30 ml of either Sour Pucker, which I can't get where I live, so in this case, we're going to use sour push. This is a sour apple uh, liqueur. Is it as sour as they say? Yeah, you want to see if it's sour? Try this. There you go, try that. Perfect. All right. Yes, it is as sour as they say. All right, we also need a one ounce or 30 more, uh, one ounce or 30 milliliters of a Midori or a melon liqueur. So because I cannot get Midori here, I am you having to use McGinnis melon liqueur. There you go. Now, you may find that the uh, there is a difference in flavor between the Maduri and the melon liqueur. So you may have to adjust this to taste for your own personal preferences. Okay. There you go. There you go. And of course we need one ounce or 30 mils of the tri triple sex. There you go. Oh good, I was worried this one was gonna work. Okay. So I'll shake this for you. Oh, that is so staying in. I'm not getting any of that out. Okay. <laughs> Can you give me a handful of ice, please? So I'm going to pour this in for you. But we're not done yet. Please put in an ounce of the pineapple juice. All right, and you're almost done. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, and now we need some Sprite or if you don't have Sprite, where you happen to be a lemon lime cola or soda, if you're in the uh, U.S. So we got a little bit of fizzy, fizzy effervescence, and now I'm looking for a lemon. Somebody stole my lemons. That's okay. I come prepared. Use proper technique. Yes, Matt Day, I'm using proper technique. So I'm going to use a slice of my uh, my very seedy lemon. You know what? Too many seeds. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave the seeds in because they look kind of like a, a fancy set of spokes. Blah, blah, 
la. Look at that. Nice, actually, you know what? There you go. Almost a beautiful fan-like look. And just to make this give you even a little bit more color, I'm gonna add a couple of maraschino cherries. And the maraschino cherries will add a little bit of sweetness to this as well. There you go, Charles. You know. <laughs> yes, your dad does love you. See, the battle between good and evil is winning. I think evil is winning. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> so here we have the good and evil cocktail. That's a gorgeous looking cocktail. What do you think? I think so. Give it a sniff. What do you think? Let you guys see the front of it. Like, oh, there's one there too. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna show. Because it'll all be gone pretty quick by the time I get to it. No, I won't. Take my time. Oh, that's good. That's good? I like that. <laughs> you know, it's too big. Thanks. Oh, that is really good. The melon just kind of comes through, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And a little bit of the lemon lime. You don't notice the um, the vodka at all. It's not even sour. It just cuts right through it. I suggest this drink to anybody. That's really good. Good, evil. I'm the guy, guy with the gun. And if you know what quote that movie quote that's from, again, smash the like button so far. We have one more left after this. And this is, the next one is going to be awesome. So, we fought with Black Magic, the Black Magic Margarita. We've used our sweet poison against the Purple People Eater. We've had the fight of good and evil. And now we are going to take the Witch's Heart. Okay, but this one I'm going to build directly into my glass. And one of the things about the witch's heart is you have to be very careful. This has dry ice. And when I say be very, very careful, if you're wear, you should either wear gloves, but if you don't have gloves, always use tongs and be very, very careful. So the first little bit I need to do is I need a little, just a little piece right here is what I'm going to use. Can you hear that? It's not like in your glass very much. Like I said, it's the witch's heart. Maybe okay. Just like flip that so I don't touch it. Okay. Move that. All right. <laughs> I'm wearing shoes. I'm fine. <laughs> so the first thing we need to do is use one ounce or 30 mils of vodka. Okay. It's really wanting something to touch. We begin with our magical brew. I can see into your okay. future. Now, one of the other special things that we need is a shimmery purple liquid. Now, I don't think you guys can see it there. You'll see it when we do the close-up, okay? But... about a teaspoon and a half of grenadine. Now, I've seen it used where we use a little bit of a uh, uh, syringe, like a child syringe, but I don't happen to have one because my children are the age that I use little syringes to feed the medication anymore. Right, so you get rid of that stuff after a while. Ooh, look at that. Now, so I'm gonna put in a teaspoon and a half and normally you put it about I want more. Okay. 
make up his mind. Oh, you better, I'm looking at this, it just looks so good and so awesome. So you, you drop it in from above. And give us a red color. Although, I have a sneaky suspicion it's not doing what I want it to do. But you know what? So that's our rose grenadine. And you know, I could actually sit here and watch this all afternoon. This is really, really awesome. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to garnish this now with a blackberry and Can I do that a maraschino cherry. There you go, do the maraschino cherry thing. So there you go. which is first, does it matter? Cause no, it doesn't matter. Now, one of the important things while she's doing that is you should never, ever, ever drink dry ice. It can kill you, okay, which is important. Another thing to do is you don't want it in there, uh, in your drink, because if it touches your lips, you could get second degree burns. You could also, you know, uh, you could actually crack a tooth just from the extreme cold, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to pull this out. Maybe. I can't get it out. The spoon won't fit. <laughs> what about the tongue? Try the tongue. The spoon doesn't. No, it's right. It's, <gasps> that's okay. The magic, the berries. Come on. Okay, wait, I can do this. Come on, what is this? Yeah. You're not getting it. <laughs> I can tell you're touching it. It's right there. It's literally it's that little tiny ball. So if you're very careful. All right, let me see if I can do this with. I just, it has literally fallen into the very bottom crack. It is so cool, you just can't get there. You know what? I got a pin, let's see if I can use a pin, because it's, and it's finally dissolved. Oh, no, just a sec. There it is, it's finally broken free and floated up to the top. Just a yeah, hold on. It's really awesome. You guys would really love to see this. <laughs> you know what? This is the spot where you should be... Uh, okay, I'm supposed to edit this stuff out. But you know what? All right. <laughs> I can't do it. You're having some issues. Yes, I'm having some issues. Hold on. Oops, move your hand, please. It's literally... <laughs> Got it, aha! All right, I'm gonna take the first sip just to make sure you're good. Now, we're gonna give this a bit of a stir, see if we get the shimmery look going, and we do, which is really, really nice. Do you have, um, you don't have a cell phone here with a nice little light to shine behind here, do we? I need a little, well, you know what, we're not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna take a close-up picture for you so you can see everything. It's actually really good. You don't notice the vodka at all, the grenadine. The uh, homemade vinique, which is what I made here, and I used this doing a uh, vodka, uh, ocean spray cran grape, a uh, little bit of a, uh, less than a quarter of a teaspoon of pearl luster powder, okay? And uh, it is edible, which is important if you're gonna do that, okay? You, want it, you don't wanna get something that's not edible, Okay, and I used a little bit of Chambord uh, blackberry liqueur to make this uh, thing. And it is really good. And... <laughs> I knew you were gonna... There you go. <laughs> and voila, the witch's heart. Stabbed through the center by the magical, uh, the magical berries. All right, so this has been our first ever Halloween compilation. My name is David Edwards. This is Aaron, and you know what? This you, is the Aaron Show. And if you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down button. But that's only if you didn't find it entertaining, informative, or anything else good. So you know what? Just hit that thumbs up button. Okay? But if you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell notification so that you can get notifications every time we put up a new video. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>